Hello and welcome to a new video. You see that the setup is different, that's because I'm traveling right now, but I will still make videos. Today's topic is about willing and action. I came up with this concept when I was journaling in December and I realized that in life you have desires and you act upon them. And the desires is basically the willing and doing the things in real life is the action. You can will anything in the world, meaning that if you want a big mansion, you will it. If you want to be rich, famous, successful, if you want to have a good wife, good kids, you will all of these things. And all of this willing is all in your mind. It is all your imagination and what you're thinking of. And the way that you make your dreams come true is through action. Action are the things that you do in the real world. And yes, you can say that willing is a metaphysical action, while action is the physical action, if that makes sense. No matter how big your dreams are, how impossible they may seem, you can still accomplish them if you do enough action. Take the example of successful people. They've all done the action necessary to get to their path. And you only see what they did, but you never saw what was willed inside. So in the metaphysical world, you have all of the things like discipline, mindsets, willing, and you also have the power of belief, which is very important for doing the actions. If you believe that you can be the best basketballer in the world, then you can do that. It is all possible. And another mindset that you can adopt is if anybody did this before, then I can also do it. So for example, if he did a 100 kilometer run, you can do it too, right? And all the things like willing, journaling, belief, these are all skills that you can practice. The more that you go through exercises that involve these skills, the more you're going to be skillful at this skill. So imagine right now, what do you want to be in this world? Think about it deeply. What do you want to accomplish in this world? What do you want? If you want to do a lot in this world, then you need a strong willing base. Meaning that you get your dreams, you get your goals, your purpose. You think about all of these things for hours and hours at a time. A dream can even come in a year. It takes that much time. And once you've got that goal, imagine how it feels to be within that life. Meaning that if your goal was to be rich and successful and literally in a house, describe yourself. How is your life? How does it feel to be in the shoes of that who achieved it? Write about it, literally. An example of what I wanted is basically my own personal house. I made so many details about rooms, how it looks like, how to enter, how, how people treat it. And I love the details that I put into it. And I can really visualize it right now. And visualizing what I want in life makes me want to get that achievement more. I want to work for that. I want. So ask yourself, how badly do you want it? How badly do you want it? If you want to do something in this fucking life, then keep dreaming. Keep that dream in mind. And you'll have to start taking action if you want to make that dream a reality. So how do you start taking action? It's very simple. Just make a plan. If your goal is to become a YouTuber and to get 10,000 subs by the end of this year of 2024, then you're going to make that your goal. Then you're going to make a plan to get there. And a plan to get there cannot always be perfect. So once you make the plan, you know that there's a lot of things that you can work on, but you don't know yet. And this entails that you don't spend too much time thinking about the plan. Just go with it and you'll perfect it over time. People are killing their productivity for perfectionism, trying to get the perfect plan and procrastinating very, very much just because they don't have this detail in their plan. You get a perfect plan by following through the imperfect plan that you already have and perfecting it. That's how you do it. And very simple ways for you to follow the plan is basically just doing your work on time, having discipline. You do your work regardless of how you feel every day, if that is the case, and you do it on time. If you want to be an exce 
an exception exceptional human being if you want to be an exception an, <laughs> an exceptional if you want to be an exceptional human being right yeah all right <laughs> if you want to be an, an exceptional human being then you have to push yourself every day pushing yourself every day just a bit more than the last day is going to make you handle more stress, more pressure, with more ease. Handling tough situations is one of the traits of being a man. A very obvious thing about success in anything that you do in life is not chasing your desires, but chasing your dream. I didn't mean chasing your dreams, I meant chasing progress and experience. You can visualize right now how people are surrounded by a campfire and they're all speaking in stories around each other. What they're doing in this scenario is sharing their experiences. People learn from experiences and not just staying in a room all day watching videos like these. And another thing that you have to chase is chasing failures, but not in the way that you might understand right now. Here's a deep quote. You can never be a winner if you've never failed. A true failure is somebody who never tries. If you want to get into entrepreneurship, then you'll try many businesses, but you'll fail many times until you try new business and you just succeed in it. You get what you want. So the simple lesson here is try, just do it and don't be scared of failure. Another skill that is good to possess is observation. In your life, you're going to see the people that you want to be like and the people that you don't want to be like. So imagine being at a millionaire's party and you want to become rich. You ask them questions, you see how they move and how they work, and eventually you can adopt these ways of thinking. And this relates to social subjects, meaning that if you're around winners, you're going to be a winner. If you're around losers, you're going to be a loser. If you're around unlawful people who don't do much with their lives, you're going to be just like them. And if you're around millionaires, you're going to be a millionaire. So a quote that my dad always taught me is observation is the key to success. All right, taking action is cool and all, but you actually need a system to put in place and a more clear plan for you to follow. So your plan is divided in time and achievement, meaning that you have the big goal, and on the way to your big goal, you have milestones. And to achieve your milestones, you have to do things every day to get to that point. And if you've been really trying to just make a plan and you feel like it's failing and that you're not good at it, just write. Stop being a little bitch and just write what you actually want, what you actually need. Because you've all got the answers. You don't need to watch another video about like productivity or how to make a plan. You, ha you have all the answers. You're just not willing to actually go through it. You're not willing to create a plan and you're not willing to follow it. So create a plan and follow it. There's no excuses. You have to follow it at all costs. So for self-improvement, there's a lot of tools that you can use. And the first one is the habit tracker. I'm making a video soon. I know I said it in my previous video, but I'll make a video on it soon, don't worry. A habit tracker is a good way to keep accountability and to also track your progress. So in a year, you will see that you will do 180 meditation sessions, for example. You will do 200 workouts. You'll write 100 pages about a book that you wanna write. Next up is the timetable. And the timetable is the thing that I explained in the beginning of this chapter, which is doing the work every day. A timetable is literally just a plan, but for each day. Meaning that you wake up at 6 in the morning, you go for a run, you work out, and then you eat at this time, you work at this time, you journal at this time, you read at this time, you plan everything. And having everything here planned already is going to facilitate you that's not a word. Having everything according to plan is going to make things easier for you and you don't have to think anxiously about it. You just follow it. And the more that you follow this, the more you're going to develop the skill of discipline. 
The next system for you to put in place to achieve your goals is the weekly performance goals, meaning the things that you have to do within a week for you to achieve what you want. Let's say that your goal is reading 100 books in the year, as well as getting better at an exercise that you like, which is running. This entails that in your weekly performance goals, you have to read two to three books and you need to make five runs per week. And this next one is something that I really like and that I've been doing for a long time. It is the to-do list for tomorrow. Every night before going to sleep, you just write about what you're going to do the next day. And this will reduce a lot of overthinking and you'll just follow to plan again, like the timetable. But the to-do list is more safe than the timetable or the weekly performance goals because you know the circumstances of how your days are going to be within like one to two days. You'll probably know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Another tool that I've been using for a couple of weeks is self-improvement reminders. Meaning that you've seen in my other video how I literally staked things to my walls. And it's just little quotes and little drawings and reminders for me to stay on this path. So just be obsessed, write things on your walls. Another set of tools that you can use for self-improvement is getting books. It's not even about self-improvement, it's just about you. In the history of humanity, we've been taught to read and write. And having books is a special gift because you can just read and write whatever you want. And for self-improvement, you can get gratitude journals. You can use it for literally just journaling normally. You can use it to work also instead of just writing on your notes app. You can also use it for tracking, for writing the to-do list, for writing about anything that you're thinking about. And what you have to do also is read. Read what you wrote. Because if you don't read what you just wrote, it's going to be kind of useless. The most important things in your life, you have to memorize it like a poem. And also another mindset for you to adopt is there's two voices in your mind. Of course, you're not schizophrenic though. You have two voices in mind. And if you know the PFC versus lizard brain term, you know what I'm going to talk about. You have the first voice in your mind that is basically the bitch in you. The one that tells you to eat the junk food, the one that tells you to just scroll on TikTok, do the bad habits, even though you know that it's bad. And the second voice in your mind is the PFC, which will remind you about self-improvement. It will remind you that you need to do this specific task and that you have to fight your urges. And yes, the PFC means prefrontal cortex, which is the newest part of our brains. And the lizard brain is one of the oldest parts of our brains that is closely related to addictions and anxiety. Every time you take a decision that is related to your lizard brain, for example, you just hop on your TikTok. You make the voice of the lizard brain stronger, but if you reject it and you do the work that you're supposed to do instead of procrastinating, you make the PFC stronger. And if you work on stopping the addictions, then you will have the voice of your lizard brain that you cannot even hear anymore. Try to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Make your voice in the brain stronger for making the right decisions rather than the wrong ones. And right now, I'm going to talk about journaling, which is a part of willing. Men of history all had journals. An example that I can think of right now is Leonardo da Vinci. This man took notes about every single thing that he was curious about. He took notes about the human body, how structures work, architecture, he made a lot of notes and drawings and through that he discovered many different things. And if you want to will a lot, then you have to be obsessed with just journaling, writing your thoughts down. Because when you're in the zone of journaling, you can think of so many things for so many hours. And to me, it's one of the most beautiful experiences that I've ever had. You can journal about your desires, your ideal life, your favorite work, what you want to achieve when you're 50, 
Meaning that you have the perfect house, the perfect social circle, the perfect environment, the best work that you have in your life. And writing all the things that I mentioned about is going to solidify your beliefs. The reason why it solidifies your thoughts is because you can get thoughts in your mind, but maybe you won't get them back ever again. So what you have to do is write and read what you just wrote. Because your thoughts written down, they'll never go away. You can always reread it again, and, and this is highly beneficial if you want to think about something. If you want to make a decision, for example. So you can journal about what you want, but you can also journal about the bad things that you have in your life. Meaning your insecurities, negative thought loops, addictions, bad traits about you. And with all of these, you can work on them. And this is a way of improving yourself. And a big part of journaling is just thinking. It's basically just thinking. The best thinking times you'll have in your life is when you're bored. When you literally have nothing else to do and you just think. You look around and you just think. So let yourself think sometimes. Stop getting distracted by everything else in the world. This is why you have to remove distractions. It's so you can think. You can will about anything in this world. And if you've got the action base, then you can achieve anything you want in life. This is the willing and action method. So if you want to do big things in life, you need a good willing foundation and a good action foundation. You train both of these skills by just willing a lot, imagining, and also taking action in the world. Get the fuck outside if you want to do stuff. Write a lot of notes, mental notes. Push yourself every single day, especially when you're physically sore or not really physically sore, but mentally sore. You need to be mentally sore for as much as you can. Become a person capable of solving problems and enduring pain. And the conclusion of this video is make a will and act upon it. Thank you for watching the video.